Okay, what we've got is a uh, low Earth orbit. Uh, we're very much in aligned with the Moon. I'm going to bring up orbit here. Nice circular orbit. Um, back to map. Uh, we're uh, going around the Earth and you can see the Moon's location here. Now because we're in line with the Moon, we can um, head to the Moon. Um, uh, we have an opportunity about once every orbit. I'm going to bring up TransX in both sides. And on the right side here, uh, we're going to click plus and it takes us to the Moon. And then forward, we can see a picture of the Moon. We'll use this more later. On the left side, we'll set up um, clicking view, we get maneuver, click plus to the on position, and now we're going to go through the variables to prograde, and the plus sign, we're going to click and hold it to raise the amount of prograde, I'm going to click again, I'm going to reduce the amount that I'm actually raising it from course, I'll click adjust to medium, and we're going to raise it up a little more, maybe again down to fine, and we're going to bring it up as you can see, we've got ourselves an orbit that's uh, up above the height of the moon. Now, the uh, straight lines here, uh, these little straight dashed lines, show our closest point. If we wanted, we could almost immediately continue on raising until we're arriving close to the moon, as you can see on the right side. But what this is doing is saying we need to have left now, meaning a few seconds ago we should have been doing the burn and that would have taken up us up on a high orbit and wasting a lot of time. By then, the moon will have gone all the way around for about 12 or 14 days and uh, meeting us here. This isn't really what we want. What we're going to do is a more direct shot. Um, so we're going to come back over here to the variables and click over to date. And we'll go forward. Ultra is a good adjustment amount. And I'm going to start clicking forward. As you can see, what's happening now is we're changing when or what direction we're actually heading off into space away from the Earth. And as we come around, we're now pointing in the direction the moon was here, but we're going to be aiming to arrive over here in this area. So we're going to go forward some more. I'm going to change to hyper now and change the adjustment. Now look on, as I click, we'll see the right side. We're getting closer to the moon and we've now made it at the moon. Now our first ability to contact the moon, we're hitting it on the right side as we're looking at it. And if we click view, we can see here the inclination is fairly low, 5 degrees. So basically we're going counterclockwise uh, around the moon. And this works fine. Uh, it's not what the Apollo did. The Apollo arrived essentially on the left side and did a large figure eight pattern. I'm going to trace it out here. They went from here out and then did a right or clockwise around the moon to come back. So if we want to do the same thing, we click hyper and we keep on adjusting across and now we're, you can see the inclination is closer to 180. And this is where we ultimately um, want to leave it. Um, if you want, you can aim it a little closer. I'm going to click back a bit. There we are. Now to do the maneuver, we click view, it takes us to a target. The target center is where we're pointed. The X is where we need to point. So we want to rotate to the right, but we also want to start the burn in uh, a long time from now, 3,500 seconds. I'm going to warp time ahead. I'm also going to change to our autopilot. We've got prograde up. There we are. And you can see that we're getting closer in time and the X is coming around. I'm going to slow time down rotation. and click to rotation and I'm going to rotate the nose to the left until the X is centered. That's very much centered. And in 38 seconds, I'm going to warp ahead. Now in 5 seconds, we'll start burning. It'll be the main engine. And I'm burning. 
As we burn, we can see the delta V dropping. Uh, we want to bring this to zero. I'm going to speed things up with warping to 10. We've got to be careful that we don't go below zero. And I'm going to go to translation. translation and go with a little forward. That's a little too much. Backing up. Okay, that means we're going to go to the right to bring the X centered. So we can laterally shift, or go to the left, bring the X centered again. Holding control while you do the uh, translation fine tunes it. And that's very much zero. Clicking view twice takes us to maneuver which then variables over to where it says maneuver mode on. We click the plus, takes us off. Now what we want to do is look at the date. And I can see, I haven't uh, shown it here in the video, but above uh, the capture part of the screen, I can see our date. And I'm going to warp ahead close to uh, where it's 922.64. and we can see ourselves arriving and here you are at the moon if you want you can now bring up orbit reference moon and click prograde I should say retrograde because that's what's going to slow us down and we're looking at the time to the uh, periapsis and as we get down closer we just simply burn probably something like about 30 seconds ahead would be a good time to start I'm going to turn it off for a moment and we're burning again until we've got a fairly circular orbit Welcome to the moon.